I wanted to show you today how I painted these flowers. They're gorgeous Peruvian lilies. Oh, I was so happy to get these from the grocery store before everything has bloomed. I start with uh, paper and I apply matte medium all over one side, spritz the back with some water so that it doesn't uh, buckle, and then I go to town. The reason for the matte medium is so that the paint will slide on there beautifully and it's also then much easier to make marks into your and to draw into your painting. I use um, of course a brush and sometimes I can mark it up with the brush, push away the paint, but I also use something called a color shaper and I'll show you that a little bit later. These flowers, uh, apparently, I looked it up, represent friendship, and I thought that was such a sweet idea. So I've given them all um, antique-type girl names, including a few names from grandmothers of mine. I had so much fun making this series. I've made uh, over 25 of them in the last couple of months, mostly based on the Peruvian lilies, but also other flowers. I had this idea of having a room full. I liked the idea of painting them in, in a rainbow color, so starting with yellow ones and then moving into orange and red and blue uh, and that is as far as I've gotten to the blue, although I don't think I've ever seen any uh, real Peruvian blue uh, flowers. The other wonderful thing about using matte medium is that it prolongs the drying time of acrylic. I really like that and it shows every single brush stroke. So if you add a couple of colors to your brush, which I sometimes do, you'll see both of them. Um, if you look on my website, I have a lot of these in uh, reds and oranges, and you can really see it there. It's quite pronounced. I'm shaping things now and moving the paint away so that it still hasn't dried yet uh, with a thing called a color shaper and it's basically a piece of rubber or silicone at the end of a stick. It's really so helpful for making marks. I love it because I, I really like to combine drawing with painting and this is a way of doing it but it also you can dip it into paint and uh, move the paint that way and make marks that way. I've done that a little bit with that dark color in here. It's purple. Of course I've massively sped up this uh, and even even so it seems to be taking a little bit of time. It's really fun experimenting with your materials. And working in this small size means that you can, you know, you can achieve something in a shorter period of time if you're stretched for time. But again, it's uh, the idea of having a whole lot of them on a wall is pretty exciting. I'm part of a uh, cooperative. Uh, gallery group here in Little Bear River, population 800, and we open it in the summertime. So that was the other inspiration or motivation to create these. Uh, I imagined my area on the wall being full of these sweet little paintings. Now, I wasn't able to 
make a video of the entire painting. And in the end, you can see this one. This is the finished one. It has a lot of green on it, and some of the uh, yellows are more intense. So I use, for this part, Liquitex ink, acrylic ink, and I just drop it on, and with a cloth that's just a little bit damp with water, I move it around, and then of course seal the whole thing with varnish, attach it to the board with um, gel medium. I hope you enjoyed this and please check out my website for more videos and to see more of my work. Bye for now.